Good morning, everyone. Oh my god, I am so tired. I literally just got up. The time is two minutes to eight, and I need to go 20 past eight. So, in 20 minutes, I overslept for like 40 minutes, but that's fine because I'm so tired. So, today's the day I'm gonna color my hair blonde again. I'm gonna do highlights in my hair, and I'm going to a hairdresser I've never gone to before. Um, but it is a really good hairdresser. I've only heard good things about this place. My best friend Amy goes there and she's got really nice hair. So yeah. Oh my god, I'm literally so tired. And I'm gonna get it cut. Probably like to there or something. Collarbone, shoulder length. And then I think I'm going to the gym with Amy unless I get work. So yeah, that's fun. And I just don't know if I should do makeup. I'm probably just gonna do a little bit of makeup. Just so I don't feel like a naked mole rat. So here goes. <laughs> done my makeup 10 minutes to go i need to brush my hair and eat something as well so yeah i also kind of need to bring that big suitcase with me so i thought i could do a little drive with me as a swedish artist i'm seeing next weekend I'm really excited I don't know how much memory my camera has and i'm probably too shy to film at the hairdressers i'm gonna find a pinterest picture and i'm gonna show them hopefully i won't be late but i think i've already saved one or pinned one throw back soon salt soon I've also been missing vlogging a lot but I've had my Spanish that's been due I've had this RSA to do I've had like so many things before or see that I've needed to think about and I've had my move like uh, I currently bought my um, suitcase in the back it's so heavy like it's probably over 30 kilos so I'm gonna weigh it just to see because it was so heavy because I'm bringing that to dad's because obviously I'm packing all my stuff up from mum's because she's moving so when I get back, my mum won't be living there. So I've needed to pack all my things and everything. I don't know, it's just been a lot of things that have been going on in my mind and YouTube hasn't been my priority, I guess. Uh, so I'm sorry about that, but I really do miss you guys. I really, really miss uploading regularly. Um, and also I've just, I guess, been a little bit unmotivated because I'm getting so many unfollowers on my YouTube account. And in a way that kind of motivates me to just get better and do better videos, but it's also kind of unmotivating, so. TikTok songs coming your way. They're good though. I really hope the hairdresser washes my hair because I've like purposely not done that. So if she doesn't, then that's gonna be gross for her and for me, so. I think this is gonna take a long time. But like two three hours well, I always ask for like a lot of small highlights so it looks like quite natural and that like the whole of my head is blonde I also just want a straight cut all around no up cuts or anything I do have a little bit of weirdness since I did cut my bangs myself uh, but they're very long and I just want the ends of them to be cut I'm so tired People are definitely watching me vlog right now. And this is the worst part of coming into town, finding finding a parking space. It's definitely watching me now. My appointment's in 10 minutes and I'm supposed to eat my apple and find a Pinterest picture and walk there. Why am I always so late? Why are you looking at me like that? She's probably looking that I'm vlogging. Okay, great. Just got out of the hairdressers and I really love it. I'm so happy with the results. Um, this was so much better than the last time I got my hair coloured. So I just asked for like as light as I can get it and loads, as I told you, loads of little highlights and the girl who did my hair was super nice and we actually had a lot in com common and it was just like so fun her her one of her parents one of her parent one of her parents were also english which is really fun so i don't know it was really nice and she was so sweet so i'm definitely gonna go back there oh my god my glasses are so like yeah i just got a work shift for tonight so 
half past two until nine so i'm gonna work in the elderly home today which is good i need to get some coins before i leave for australia in two weeks which is crazy also picked up some australian dollars which is good i need to do that and i'm gonna drop my um, suitcase off and unpack it at dad's so i can bring it back to mum's to like repack it again i was gonna do my spanish test today which is three hours but i'm not gonna have time to do that before i start work so i guess i'll have to do that tonight because tomorrow's friday and i have another one to do tomorrow so i'm gonna have to do that tonight which is just like i really don't want to have to do it tonight it's 12 o'clock i need to get going now oh i also have like two packages to pick up so let's do that too i haven't caught up with you guys since yesterday since i left you to go to work and i just want to update you guys so i'm so proud of myself right now i had a three hour um spanish like final test yesterday i wasn't gonna do it because i finished work at nine but i was like i actually have another one today which is only one hour but still it's like four hours total so i was like i'm gonna do it so i did it last night and so happy i finally got that spanish course done don't know my grade yet like i have two more spanish courses to do but i'll do them when i get home from aussie so now i'm just gonna focus on australia on youtube and just like bit, basically living my best life i'm so excited so i put fake tan on this morning haven't put any on my face just because i don't know where my face tan is and i need to take a picture for lounge underwear so i thought i'd do that now and do like a little chit chat get ready with me I guess i mean i don't have any questions to answer otherwise i would love to have answered your guys' questions so of those of you who didn't know i'm going to australia on the 11th of february which is like two weeks left i got my working holiday visa it actually took quite a long time but that's just because i was a bit slow like i could have got it in a longer time but i think it took me like a month to get um there was like back and forth different things you needed to do i've also got my international driver's license which is great and we booked our first place we're gonna stay so we're doing work away which is basically an app that you can pay for um so you can find different hosts it's like private so anyone can sign up um, but you have to pay a little bit so pe hosts can be like maybe a family with children that need help like basically an open an au pair but it doesn't have to do with family it can also be like oh this couple needs help gardening or oh this ho this hostel needs some staff so that's what we're going to do we're going to backpacking hostel in gladstone which i'm so so excited for because i just know from experience because i was backpacking in asia that if you go to a backpacking hostel you're bound to meet like nice people like what is up with this pony <laughs> i don't know you're just bound to meet like nice like-minded people that also want to meet people because you're traveling um so that's where we're going first and it's near the great barrier reef it's a or the coral reef um i'm also so happy with my hair color as you guys know um which is really nice uh because i kind of want to do a little surfing i also want to wait surfing i was gonna say snorkeling but i want to learn how to dive but i'm really really scared and there's like sharks in australia too look at my cat he is the cutest but i also really want to surf and i don't know if there are any good surfing spots there like i'm not good at surf like i'm a beginner so if anyone knows any good like surfing beaches or if you can get like kind of cheap surf lessons from someone or somewhere hit me up let me know because i'd love that so yeah i don't know a lot of people are just like what are you gonna do like are you gonna study and no this is my like second gap year and i know in like the uk and other countries that it's such a big deal to not start studying straight away after you finish school but in sweden it's like normal for people to go traveling and take like a gap year just figuring out i'm on my second one now it's not that unusual but like i d i am feeling the pressure that i need to decide when i want to study soon like i'm not even i haven't even made a plan like i don't know but i'm trying to embrace that i don't know and just that i'm young and i have the opportunity to do what i've always wanted to do which is just travel see the world i don't know like learn how to surf and do things that i don't know just really really make me happy and that i don't need to study just yet like i've got my whole life ahead of me where i can study and work and now when i'm young and i don't have any i don't have a family to take care of 
um i don't have a boyfriend to like it's keeping me in one place i've got the world of an opportunity and i have so much to discover and see so i am really excited that i'm going traveling and i actually just can't wait and the study bit i will take later when it comes like i don't even know if i want to start studying this autumn or if i want to go back to australia like i have no plan and i just want to kind of i'm trying to find peace in that that like it's so cool that anything that that anything can happen and that I have the opportunity to just do whatever I want right now which I feel is really cool like I would love if my YouTube could take off and I could just like explore that for a bit um but now that's not look like looking like it's gonna happen um but I do really want to upload more regularly and stuff like that so I'm using the, I used a little bit of a darker foundation so it will match with my tan and people are wondering like how are we gonna afford to do this and with some worker wage you can get like minimum wage of payment but at this place we don't we get like free we get like cheap drinks we get cheap food and we get a place to stay for like three and a half hours of work per day for five days a week which i mean it's really good we're saving so much money on on um on living and also like transport because we're going to be in the middle of the city and th there's going to be activities at the hostel and it's just gonna I'm just really excited and then maybe like I don't even know if this is an option like if I'm allowed to but we maybe will be able to get like a job outside of the hostel um but I don't know if we're gonna stay there that long yet because obviously we I wanna or we wanna really want to explore other places of Australia on the east coast because it is so big and there's so so much to see if you have any places where like ah you don't really have to see this uh, let me know or if you also if you have any places that are like oh you can't miss this on the east coast uh, let a girl know we're not totally like against going to the west coast as well like i know so many people say the west coast is nicer for beaches and everything but the only thing is that the distance is so far between everything uh which is what scares us since we do have like australian license we're really keen on hiring a van or buying a van like renting a van by ourselves or with some other people we don't really know but that would be just so cool to just drive around in a van or in a little car and just sleep in it like some blur you know but like i would be really up for that so i don't know if any if any of you are going to be in australia around the east coast or around brisbane we will be traveling obviously as well just let me know um i really want to go to the gold coast and um byron bay that area like surfers paradise i guess i could learn to surf there but i'm scared of sharks i'm actually not that scared of sharks because i'm like oh there won't be any sharks and like if there is sharks then we won't be allowed to swim there so if any of you are from australia and you can calm my nerves a bit then please please do also i'm wearing my merch that's not for sale anymore so that's that shout out to anyone who has ever purchased merch from me I'm getting ready to take my lounge underwear photo. I'm posting a video with them tomorrow, which is oh, really excited. I need to like promote that on my social media. The weather's really nice. It's like a little cloudy and a little, little sunny. I feel like I'm talking way too much, but you didn't get to see much from my hair video yesterday. Also, I have so many videos to edit. I don't know where to start now that I'm finished with my fan Spanish for now. I'm also soon done with my RSA questions. Like, as I said, I don't know if I said this in the video, but I'm doing an RSA, which you need in Australia if you want to be able to work in a bar or serve alcohol. You need to know. You need to take, 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 uh, you need to take an RSA. It looks super scary because it's 117 questions, but honestly, it's not that hard at all. The answers are literally written out in the, like, the notes that you get. Um, so it didn't take me very long at all. I think it took me like a total two hours to answer the questions um, and then you can pause it when you want so I haven't sat for two hours straight I just do a little bit now a little bit then um, and it's actually quite interesting so I didn't find it that tricky but I guess if you're not very good at English and if you don't if you have a hard time understanding English I guess it could be a little harder but it's something I definitely recommend you do because I think it will give you so many more opportunities when you go there I'm speaking like I've been there already, but I haven't, so. I don't actually think I can fathom that I'm going away for four months. Like, I was way more prepared for for Asia, probably because I knew, like, kind of exactly what we were going to be doing and where we were going to be. Like, now I don't even know where we're going, so it feels, like, unrealistic and that it's so soon. We haven't even been planning this for very long. I only knew for sure that we were going to go in December, and that was last month, so 
it hasn't really sunken in but then again i have been talking about moving to australia for two years probably even though i'm not sure i'm gonna move there yet i don't know what i'm doing with my life and you guys ow i, I literally powdered my eyeball so that's that's fun that really hurt so tonight we're having like a clothes swap day with me and my friends so i guess i wear this makeup it's friday today as well so we might be going out afterwards but i'm working at like 9 45 tomorrow so i gotta be up and ready for that can't be too of a rough night and tomorrow i'm having my like going away party where we're seeing an artist and we're going out night clubbing and we're gonna be at mine for pre's and i'm just so so excited for tomorrow so I don't want to like kill myself tonight. Also my room's like so empty. I don't have very many makeup palettes here. Yeah. Don't really know what to do with my makeup. It's a Valentine's Day photo. So I should be like pink or red. I mean, I don't know. Probably won't be able to see my makeup very well anyway. I feel like I'm blabbering on way too long. I'm going to put some music on now. Ow, this eye really hurt. I'm actually going to ask if there's any questions. So I'm filming a vlog. Um... And I'm just wondering if you guys have any questions for me in general or any questions about my Australia trip because I'm kind of like addressing them in this vlog. So yeah. I love, I'm obsessed with this video, this song. Oh yes, of course it. Hmm? glow up look i guess i just haven't put any clothes on but i love it now i'm gonna go down take my picture and then i guess i'm gonna start i need to kind of pack the last things up the last things in my room up and put in that suitcase again um because i still got some clothes i've got like a monopoly game and i've got like loads of plants uh which i won't be able to pack in that suitcase but just pack a few things as well so let's go take the picture i'm really nervous because i don't have like a nice bathroom for this photo and i want it to be a good one so yeah i'm gonna hype myself up <laughs> so guys i'm actually in australia now if you couldn't tell i look sweaty i'm a tiny bit sunburnt I haven't got a tan yet i've only been here for like two and a half days um and my hair hasn't been brushed like okay so I just want to end this vlog here and say thank you for watching, look forward to Aussie vlogs. Yeah, I love you all so much, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video.